Hi, my name is David Furman with Flawless AI, and today I'll introduce our latest work, Facelift, Semi-Supervised 3D Facial Landmark Localization, a collaboration with Pablo Garrido and Gaurav Baraj. One of the primary challenges in 3D Facial Landmark Localization is poor quality data. In the real domain, data sets are often semi-automatically labeled, lacking fine-scale details and requiring hallucination of information about occluded face regions. This often leads to incorrect ground truth. In the synthetic domain, we face issues such as the well-known domain gap, as well as inaccuracies in landmark positioning due to discrepancies between the albedo space or hair and the mesh, particularly noticeable in features like the eyebrows and lips. Given the high quality of 2D labels, which are directly annotated on images without needing to infer occluded areas, we explore the potential of learning 3D landmarks from these 2D labels. However, there is a gap between 2D and 3D projected labels as shown in the red versus green labels to the right. Recent advancements in 3D-aware face scans like EG3D and IDE3D offer a robust foundation for pose-invariant 3D facial representations, setting the stage for our proposed method. We seek to combine this 3D information with high-quality 2D landmarks to obtain high-quality 3D landmarks. We propose a pipeline that uses a 3D-aware GAN to generate synthetic data for training a 3D landmark detector. This involves sampling multi-view images from the GAN, predicting 2D landmarks with a state-of-the-art detector, defining a set of visibility masks for each view in a fixed set of multi-view virtual cameras, and then optimizing a single set of 3D landmarks with visibility masks to account for self-occlusions. As a result, we obtain 3D landmarks for a given GAN latent and can render novel poses and their landmarks, even for extreme poses that the 2D detector fails on. However, Training on this data alone yields suboptimal results due to the GAN's limitedness in expression, lighting, and occlusion variations. Thus, we propose to train jointly on 2D unlabeled videos alongside the GAN data, where the 3Dness is learnt from the GAN samples, while additional variation in expression, background, occlusion, etc. is gleaned from the videos. Our system starts with pre-processing in-the-wild videos from the Celeb V dataset for 2D landmark detection followed by sampling from the 3D GAN, detecting 2D landmarks, and optimizing 3D landmarks for a set of multi-view GAN samples. We then combine data from both the video and GAN sources during training to enhance the robustness of our model. We mask the 2D video branches loss via a visibility mask computed from the model's predicted pose. Our architecture involves passing the image through a VIT encoder which is then passed into a decoder that processes image tokens along with learnt landmark and pose tokens, where in each decoder block, landmark and pose tokens cross-attend to the image tokens, as well as self-attend amongst the landmark and pose token set. Finally, landmark and pose tokens pass through MLPs, and the 3D landmarks and the pose are predicted and projected to obtain the 2.5D landmarks. Previous methods compare using the normalized mean error metric which assumes a fixed set of vertex indices of a face mesh as the landmark definition. While global alignment is shared across datasets, each dataset has its own local definition bias, as can be seen on the right. Since our landmark definition varies, for the purpose of fair evaluations, we consider a model-specific definition as a normalized mean consistency error metric to adjust for the local definition bias by enabling each model to select the vertex indices which minimize its normalized mean error across the evaluation set. We compare on in-the-wild images with mesh labels from the DAD 3D Heads dataset and multi-view studio captured videos with mesh labels from the multi-phase dataset. Our method shows significant improvements outperforming state-of-the-art models by approximately 20%. Visual comparisons on images from various datasets illustrate our model's superior capability in capturing fine-scale details and maintaining global alignment even in challenging pose scenarios. We show our model's inference results when visualized on an in-the-wild video. In video inference comparisons, our method exhibits higher temporal stability and accuracy compared to previous models, showcasing its effectiveness in dynamic real-world conditions. Lastly, 
we show the results of various models when predicting on multi-view renders from the 3D ORGN. Thank you for watching.